If you've typed a domain or a keyword into SEMrush and received a nothing found message, don't worry, it does not mean that SEMrush is broken. In fact, there's a very simple explanation for it. You see, SEMrush records the first two search engine results pages for the top 95 million keywords. Uh, basically, what this gives us is a large list of domains related to each keyword. That allows you to query a domain and see which keywords uh, are producing organic results or paid ads results for that domain. This means that at any given time, our database contains information on roughly 40 million domains and 95 million keywords. And while that's an insane amount of data, unfortunately there will be times where the keyword you've queried or the domain that you've queried does not exist in our system. It may not be the most ideal situation, but there's a lot that you can take away from it. Because if it's a keyword that you can't find in SEMrush, you now know that it's not amongst the top 95 million keywords worldwide and may not be worth targeting either in your content or within your paid ads campaign. Now, when researching a domain and arriving at a nothing found message, this tells you that the domain itself does not rank within the first two pages of results for any of the top 95 million keywords. Statistically, when 99% of all clicks come from results found within the first two pages, this means you may want to refocus your efforts on a more successful competitor rather than someone who doesn't rank for anything meaningful where it counts. And uh, that's the entire idea behind what we do. Um, so in the same light, if you're researching your own domain or a client's domain, this tells you you could really benefit from the data that we provide. Um, by refining your search engine optimization and marketing practices by way of competitor analysis, you're only going to ensure that the domain is going to reach its target audience. Thank you for watching, and this has been another SEMrush Pro Tip.